sat in bed at about midnight last night and I said out loud as I turned Mario Kart on to play for a while I was readily accepting the fact that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning having to get up early for work and I'm gonna be crotchety and grumpy as hell because I didn't get enough sleep and accepting that responsibility entirely as my own for beginning to play a video game less than seven hours before I had to wake up and here I am waking up grumpy I just remembered, I knew it was a holiday today, I had to remember, which, which, which holiday is it, is President's Day today. Oh God, I can't, I can't today. Fucking, this means Trump's gonna go on TV and say some blah blah about how amazing he is and about how today is his holiday or some just stupid uneducated, deformed, Neanderthal shit like that, like what he's always saying gives me a damn headache having to listen to the guy talk I mean, talk about a holiday I really don't care about celebrating right now what, what reason do we have to celebrate our current president? what, because he's doing such a great job? and let me make something straight, if you're a Republican that's one thing. If you're a Republican who voted for Trump and you think that he's doing an amazing job just because he's ran as a Republican and you're a Republican and therefore you feel like you just have to defend him, you're fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Anybody who thinks that guy is doing a good job is either severely mentally disabled, severely confused, been brought up in a very dysfunctional home, or you're just stupid. I'm sorry. You see? grumpy and at the same time it's like it's almost good for how aggravating it is to have that constant reminder that these people exist in the world because it's dark it's sad and it's soul crushing but at the same time when you just kind of block it out like oh god I don't even want to think about those people I don't want to know those people exist right now that's how you start pushing away and kind of forgetting about the real problem and Shouldn't be doing that. I'm trying to figure out where to walk without bumping into people, so I'm just like circumventing in a very odd fashion. I'm traversing the mall here. Um, I was gonna go get some food, and then I remembered I'm only on a 15, so I'll have enough time to go get food, bring the food back to work, and then not have enough time to eat it, so I'm gonna scratch that. But anyway, so this, this woman on my Facebook that I only keep I keep at my own peril, but also at my own constant reminder of true dysfunctional incoherence, borderline evil. Um, big Trump supporter, no shocker. And after um, his State of the Union bullshit gobbledygook, um, he apparently made the statement of like, we're, you know, we're, we'll never be a socialist nation. Fuck you, socialist. Well, fuck you, Trump. I'm a democratic socialist, and I've got ten times the heart you or any of your fucking followers ever will have, or even have the mental capacity to have. You know? Slay me. I don't fucking care. You know, a democratic socialist is somebody who acknowledges that everybody is a person, everybody should be cared for, everybody deserves health care. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you work harder or you're better than anybody. Um, it's just, it's infuriating to watch people who act like you're evil when they actively accept the fact that, well, if you're poor or you're this or you're that or you don't go to church enough, I'm saying this as a Christian, you don't go to church enough, well, you, 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 you just, you've earned that because you're just not a good person. You're poor and you're broke and your life is 
shatter because you're just not a good person. And <laughs> predicated on ignorance. I remember hearing that going to church for years. If anything's going wrong with your life, it's because you don't have God in your life. I'm like, I know of plenty of people that don't have God in their life and their lives are going great. I know of plenty of people who do have God in their life. Very much so when their lives are shit. You know? Anyway, so this chick requoted Trump's dumbass quote where he said, blah, 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 we're never going to be a socialist country. Like, wow, good for you. Way to, I mean, way to be yourself, I guess. Fucking idiot. Um, so she reposted that with like an American flag, like, woohoo, so excited. Everything's so great in our country. We finally have a good president. And I, I kid you not, I'm going to have to paraphrase. But somebody, who obviously is like-minded with this woman, um, pretty much in so many words, essentially said, let's set up the gallows and just purge them one by one. And the way it was worded, I don't think this person was joking. This person literally said in a comment on Facebook, I think I screenshot it somewhere, if I did, I'll include it in this video, but literally said people who are socialists, democratic socialist counts, <laughs> we should set up gallows. Pretty much if you're a democratic socialist, you should be murdered in a brutal, archaic fashion. Like, and you talk about people's belief structure being a danger to society, people's behavioral patterns being a danger to society, people literally saying passively on Facebook for the whole world to see people who don't think the way we do we should just get them all together and kill them off and you wonder why Trump supporters and the far right are compared to Nazis all the time well you're actively saying people who are different from you that you deem inferior clearly should be murdered it's fucked up. A few more hours later and I'm... I want to still be angry, but I don't... I'm too tired to be angry now. I'm, I'm on the verge of almost hysterical laughter. It is just way too busy for me to have been the only person here from 9 till 2. And it's just every time I had something important to do or every time I actually needed a gap to work for me, someone lost something, someone had a freak out I don't know I'm literally taking my half almost an hour and a half past the midpoint of my shift where perceivably someone should take their half I was already wiped out when the day began and now I'm just I'm too incoherent to know what to think Whew. well that pile of calories was well earned <laughs> but I know something about people. You really know a lot from a person by how they order things. Not necessarily just fast food, just in general. How they order things. They go up to someone and say, you know, what they want. People either ask or they, I don't want to say command, but they, they like affirm it unto themselves. Um... I always ask. I feel like it's the courteous thing to do. You know? Hey, can I get a blah, blah, blah? Hey, can I get my Baja Blast up in here? I've noticed with some people, especially men between the ages of like 30, which I guess I'm globbed into, and any age after that that a man can live to. Well, not really elderly men. I find elderly men are a little bit more courteous about stuff like this, but... A lot of people go up to the counter and say, I'm going to have this and I'm going to have that. And I just feel like that's, I don't know, it's just douchey. I think, I think, and there's like a certain element of like aggression that I take away from that. Like you're so aggressive that you come into a simple uh, eatery establishment and you just come in guns blazing. Hey, I'm going to have a this. I'm going to have this. And it's just... Talk to the person who's trying to help you like they're trying to help you. I don't know. I just... 
I didn't really take much notice of that kind of stuff till uh, this moment in time. Maybe it's just I'm so tired that I'm just kind of losing all form of mental <laughs> stability. That's what I was looking for. I have over two hours left on my shift. I need to get my shit together because I am going to, I'm going to faint. Woo! All right, well, tired of shit, but I managed to not intentionally save my last break till the last like 25 minutes of my shift. So I'm going to come back, clock back in, work nine minutes, and, uh, and the day is over. I feel like I barely even set you down. Ooh, it's a very, you can't really see it, but off the distance there. Pretty little flash of light as the sun goes down. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Couldn't get out of the parking lot where I work. And I'm feeling rain hitting me. I was looking around thinking, oh, it's really pretty and it's nice and it's warm and it's not raining. And I'm starting to feel these little drops of water hitting me in the face. It waits till the moment I get off work to start raining. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a high-grade, top-notch, front-line... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Front-line isn't, isn't a high-end. Front-line is a flea medication, isn't it? Anyway... Gonna have a meltdown. So I'm gonna have a post work meltdown. When in reality, I'm gonna hobble home and fall over and be like, hey, I'll do a little bit of work. And then after about 15 minutes, I'll eat and then I'll lay down and pass out for two hours because I have nothing left to give to this world. <laughs> for the record, you know. I've been talking a lot about how pissed I am today. I've been talking a lot about how shitty the world can get, how shitty people can get, how disrespectful they can be based on their own ignorance. Ig ignorance? Ignorance. That doesn't bode well for me when I'm trying to talk about other people being ignorant and I can't say the word ignorant, but you'll let that slide because I just got off of a shift <laughs> that almost killed me. But I'm used to it. Don't ever. Just because you ain't making a lot of money necessarily. If you're working the grind and you're busting your ass and you're going home and you know to your core that you're bust ass tired because you, you work today. You know? If you have to BS yourself to get, can we, I'm sorry, I'm seeing a little bit more of that sun going down. If you had to BS yourself to convince yourself you're tired, that's a whole other story. But if you go home and you know through and through, you don't have to lie to yourself, tell yourself, I'm getting home from work, I'm beat, I'm exhausted, you know, I did my job today. Don't ever let anybody tell you that the shit you do is easy. Because most people making six figure a year would friggin' start blistering out, bitching and crying if they had to do what I do every day. And probably maybe what you have to do every day. The fact of the matter is, my feet. And these are new shoes. My feet are still killing me. I got home Friday night. I'd walked 14 miles over the course of my work shift. 14 miles. Not a lot of people can say that about their job. But I'm not, I'm not doing this to brag about me. I'm talking about me because I'm identifying myself with your average Joe in today's, today's society who busts their ass knowing they're not going to make a lot of money and even when you show up at work and say you know what I'm not doing it today you still end up busting your ass like there's one of my actress friends her uh, I think it's her stepdad he is this guy probably when I met him he's probably pushing 50 sorry I'm really dark ah there we go probably around the age of 50 comes home every night goes and does literally back-breaking labor you know I can go to work at my theater and say I did back-breaking labor today but it's it's metaphorical my back isn't literally broken this guy literally goes out has to wear a girdle at work 
comes home literally crooked, like his body is disfigured from all the ass busting he's done probably his whole life. And even that level of ass busting for that long, they have a tiny little house in kind of a cruddy, probably low income neighborhood where homes aren't that expensive, you know, at the end of the day. And yet that guy probably works harder than any CEO I could conceive. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Odds are, if you're going home from work and most of the time you're pretty tired and yet you're flat broke and can't afford your one bedroom apartment at the same time, odds are you probably bust your ass pretty good, pretty decent on a daily basis. And there's no shame in that, no matter how little you're taking home at the end of the day. There's plenty of people make more money in a month than I make in two years that I would not want to trade places with. Because if I was them, I wouldn't be me. And I'm, I'm happy being me. Even though I may be broke as all hell, it's, it's not bad. I've, I've got a pretty, pretty good situation in my life. It could be a lot, a lot worse. So, I'm proud of you for busting your ass, even when spoiled ass rich fucks talk to you like you're an ant on the sidewalk. Odds are you're working a damn sight harder than our president ever has. Ooh, see how he brought it back around? Happy President's Day. Fucking bullshit. While on the subject of the president, what's he up to? This is his holiday, after all. Oh, that's right. He couldn't get his wall through his government shutdown, so he figured, okay, what's the next thing I can try? Uh, national emergency. Yeah, let's just, just waste more time and energy and money trying to push for something that this guy pushed, like, that was like his whole thing, was I'm gonna build, we're gonna build a wall in Mexico. Remember when Mexico was gonna pay for that? Remember that whole thing? Uh, but apparently that's not gonna happen because now, you know, we're halfway through this uh, fuck show. And now suddenly it's, we have to do it, which I mean, anybody would have a brain knew this is how it was gonna end, but yeah, it's, it's, it's great knowing we're spending all this time and energy trying to put up a wall to block illegal immigrants because they're all serial killers and rapists, obviously. There's no inherent racism there at all. Are some illegal immigrants going to be violent or criminals? Of course, but you know, First of all, it seems like apparently we think only people coming in from Mexico are <laughs> a remote threat. But, you know, and it's like, you know, we think everybody's a threat to us. Middle Eastern people are a threat to America. Uh, Mexican people are a threat to America. Everybody's a threat to America except us God-fearing white folk, you know. And it's, it's hilarious because if you don't laugh, you cry when you think about how stupid this stuff is. And it's like, really? We're going to sit here and talk and complain? about the, the significance of human life when our country has killed far more people in foreign countries than all the foreign countries combined could even come close to exerting on us. And well, wasn't it really cute? I thought it was really adorable when the president brought a family to the State of the Union to be like, hey, there's a family over there, and they had a loved one killed by an illegal immigrant. Oh, well, there's, there's your proof. Obviously, every illegal immigrant is a killer. I, I, I wasn't aware. Thank you for opening my eyes to the to the realities of the world and you know I mean thank you for spending so much time and money trying to do something so over archingly if that is even a word stupid you know God forbid you be putting this time and energy into you know helping people that are in debt you know I guess I guess the objective is us young people like myself who are all just seemingly destined to die under a heap of student loan and credit card debt because we literally can't make enough money and get good enough jobs to survive in this world. I guess the objective is at the end of the day when we're homeless and freezing to death on the streets because we ran out of money and we've gone default on everything because everything's too expensive for us to survive and we can't make enough money to pay for our crap anyway, I guess we can have the strength in knowing if that wall gets built we can just die of our own volition freezing to death on the streets 
and know that it isn't an illegal immigrant that's coming and killing us instead. Now I'm pissed again. I felt kind of okay when I finally got off work and now I'm right back where I was at the start of the day.